How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Hero of Nostalgia. Next up, we have a strength build. So you're going to want to use the four matter for class for this. Starts off with the core attributes that we would want, vitality, stamina, and strength. Uh, so as you can see, um, we have the Vincible Hammer, which is um, Merkel's weapon. Um, <laughs> And we are doing 969 damage um, with uh, using the crushing infusion, which is uh, infusing that with strength, obviously. Uh, got that maxed out. Um, this is my initial playthrough character. And as you can see, I've just created a monster of a character. I've maxed it out to level 99. Uh, that is max level in the game. Um, just so I could kind of Instead of doing uh, multiple builds on different save files, I just did a monster character, and just so I could kind of showcase strength decks and uh, source builds uh, all in one character. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the build. Um, so lots of different weapons, obviously, you can use with strength. Um, down here are most of them. Uh, we have the laid pipe. Um, you have the run home, which is like basically like a spiked bat. Um, a lot of these have the overhead smash for the special, as well as some of the great swords like um, the demon tearjerker, which you get that very early on. Um, it is a good weapon pickup if you're, since you get that so early, if you want to do that. Uh, that's what I did in the walkthrough. Um, the bucko blade as well. That's kind of a quality weapon, uh, but again, you can infuse it with the crushing so that it only scales with uh, strength. Also, the Utter Annihilator is another good one. I uh, did level a few of these up, not very many. Um, but this one I thought I had a cool moveset. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. It's kind of a pokey weapon, but it's got some uh, sweeping attacks, which are cool. So, charge star 2. Sweeping attack right there. And that is the special right there. So I thought that one was cool. Um, let's see. Now, the Nam's Dancing Pole. Another interesting weapon if you're doing a hybrid build. Um, it's got some cool attacks. So, folks, some slashes. That's the R2, another R2, it's the charged R2, and then the single-handed single, single -handed attacks, some pokes, those are all R1s, that's a charged R2. So, as you can see, pretty versatile in the moveset, um, and then the special nice stab and uh, sweeping attack so definitely would recommend that if you're doing a hybrid build uh, with uh, strength and source let's see stern glare another good one if you're doing a hybrid build um, it's got interesting move set as well those are the r1s and then the r2 then the special <laughs> crazy hop up and a slam down um, and should probably show you the special with the invincible hammer as well which is this very res reminiscent of a uh, move in Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3 um, so let's see obviously the unburdened shovel uh, you get that very early on, and it scales well with, uh, um, you can do a quality build with it, and then uh, to further up the damage, you can do a balanced uh, infusion, um, which is pretty nice. That's what I did for three quarters of the game, first playthrough. Irrelevant Appendage is another one I would recommend, a uh, good quality weapon. Um, Showed this off in the in the walkthrough. 
does have a pretty cool move set, pretty fast. And the R2, charged R2. It's like a multi-hit, pretty cool. Um, the only problem with that is you don't remember that until pretty late in the game. Now the Crystallis Tooth, um, another quality weapon. And as you can see, this is interesting because it will do recursion damage. So kind of short range, but you can get, those are all R1s, charged R2. So fairly short range, but if you can get some recursion damage out of it and uh, get some build up on enemies, that's probably pretty good to play around with. As far as the armor goes, I have the Sandwich's Vision, Savior's Raiment, Haunted Feelings, and uh, Savior's March. Um, as far as runes go, right now I just have the, I'm boosting up my source stat um, as well as dexterity, um, but some runes that you would want to use with this, definitely probably want to get your equip load up um, if, uh, depending on how high you want to boost that. Decreasing your stamina usage is always good as well. Increasing your stamina regen. You know, it's interesting. I don't think I have the strength uh, rune on this character. I must have missed it. Uh, as I said, this was my initial playthrough character, so I must have missed that item. I just realized that. So that is it. Um, uh, more build videos and guides to come. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.